and or discuss the finer points of county law, then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Attracts delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. The feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. All right, guys. Welcome back to another part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Sorry, I walked into the uh, police station and didn't realize that it just started a cutscene, so I just automatically started recording. But same thing with this video as the last couple ones. There's only going to be commentary in the beginning and probably guaranteed the beginning and the end. And then throughout the video, I might put in some commentary, but most likely not. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kinda look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... It's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Quick. 
Come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What? You're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. <sighs> Ain't we had enough drama? I, I, I'd be better off jumping. I, uh, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Uh, or, or what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. <sighs> I really do not like you. Judge. I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. <clears throat> All right. I'll take you in. Now I'm just gonna check your pockets. Maker. Suffering from exposure. Oh. oh, I seem to keep blacking out. Eh. You do seem to keep blacking out. Oh, sir, 
This isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't Slow feel down. very well. I told you to shut up. <laughs> Who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. He don't understand you, Morit. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. I never did it! Any of it! I thought I told you to shut up, partner. Oh, oh, but I told but you... But nothing! Shut up! And, uh, good luck. Oh. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner! I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offered? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you. Madam. Please, remember what I told you. Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it easy! Are you about to pal? kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, huh? and we have our answer! <laughs> <laughs> Come here, you! Come here, you little greaser. Oh, 
tear you apart. Yeah, yeah, like I tear you, you stupid bitch. Yeah. I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business <laughs> is it of yours? No business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Sir? Sir, you all right? Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Alright, guys, I'm going to end this one right here. And I will see you guys in the next one.